if you call yourself a Christian, but you're really living for Satan, and your God is Satan with a little G, please come to my channel. I'd love to have you come here because I want to be able to pray for you. And I want you to at least be able to see what the real Jesus Christ looks like, what his words mean when you come to my channel, because that's all I have here is the Holy Bible, King James Bible cover to cover, and the real Jesus Christ. Had some person come to my wall last night while I was sleeping and post, their name was God is Love something. And they were dropping names of people that they said that because of so and so and whatever the names were that I know you won't be able to attack me so let me just put drop their names and let me just call you names and say that um, you don't show love here and say that you're an evil man and, and you're old enough to know the, how to be nice well you know <laughs> it, it's just so pathetic and it's so funny I'm praying for you now God is love whoever you were and, and I appreciate you coming you're no longer welcome on, on my to comment on my channel you can watch my videos all you like but you can't comment anymore because I don't allow Satan's minions to come to my channel and just deface the wall with satanic rhetoric and I just let God judge me on who I am and I let the people that come to my channel on a regular basis and watch what I write or what I speak to judge whether I am a, a man of God or not or whether I show love or not uh, you should really watch my video on on love and what really real true love is real true love is not your kind of love where you sit around and sing kumbaya and tell everybody no matter what kind of life you live for christ it's all acceptable and jesus is going to take all the sinners into heaven that's not the kind of love i teach i teach the real biblical love that says that you rebuke correct and teach and convict those that you love and you treat those that you love just like you treat yourself love thy neighbor as you love thyself you won't let yourself end up being harmed or put in harm's way or do things that will send you to hell. So you won't let your neighbors do that either. I've got a video on it. Go ahead and watch it. It'll really help you. But if, if you know anyone else God is love or anyone else that's watching this that might want to come and mock, please come. Please do. Just, just come and send me a message or put something on my wall so I can just add your name to my prayer list because I've got a long prayer list that I pray for every night. I pray that God will bless them richly, those that hate me, those that spitefully use me, those that consider me their enemy, those that try to mess with my ministries, I have nothing but love for you. And I have no enemies, have no problems. All I do is just teach the Word of God the way it's written from cover to cover. And, you know, I'm no res respected person. I'm not impressed by, by any man or any woman, so name dropping doesn't affect me. I, you know, from the highest, the highest known uh, prophet or, or evangelist down to the, the brand new babe in Christ. I respect people by the way they carry themselves in Jesus Christ, by the way they live their lives in Jesus Christ. I don't care about who talks the talk. I want to see who walks the walk. And that's what it's all about. Jesus Christ is our judge. He's the one that's going to decide in eternity what we do and don't get. He's going to be the one who decides whether we actually make it to heaven or not by the way we live our lives. So that's what it's all about. I really love to pray for people. I really love getting people's names on my prayer list. It's a humongous list, but I, there's always room for more. So just please, if you're watching this video and you're a phony Christian or a watered down Christian, or you know, you're just a person who hates God or hates Jesus, don't just watch the video. Leave comments for me so I can have your name, so I can put you on my prayer list, because at least I want to be able to pray for you again, so that someone is interceding to, to, to Jesus Christ for you and someone is loving on you and trying to point you to the light of Jesus Christ to point you to the living water of Jesus Christ I can lead you to the water but I can't make you drink but I can sure pray for you and prayer is a powerful tool I have the gift of faith mustard seed faith God gave it to me I didn't deserve it he just gave it to me as a gift and God answers my prayers all the time through his power and his love and his glory I see miracles happen every day and I would love to see a miracle happen in your life as well. If you're a backslidden Christian, if you're a phony Christian, if you're not a Christian, if you're an atheist, if you're a Satanist, doesn't matter what you are. You know, please come, please come here and leave leave a comment. Because if you just leave a thumbs down, that's not going to help me. I need you to put your name on here so I can know who you are, so I can pray for you because I love you. And I want to see you go to heaven with all the rest of us.
Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I love you this morning. I thank you so much that you love us. And I thank you so much for the way you changed my heart and you changed my life. And you've shown me the truth, shown me the light, and showed me how to conduct myself and how to carry myself. You've shown me how to teach. But above all, you've shown me how to live, how to walk the walk that I talk. Please help everyone, including this God is love person, to be able to understand that they need you as Lord and Savior of their lives. They need to be close to you. They need to understand what real love is, understand what a real person who serves God is, what we're supposed to look like, and how we conduct ourselves. I just pray for all these people, Jesus, that you would send them my way and leave their names so I can at least pray for them. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day. I believe you went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father. Please forgive me of my sins, Jesus. Come live in my heart. Wash my heart white as snow. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. If you pray this prayer, my friends, Jesus says in the Bible that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. Once you get saved, get you a King James Version Bible. It's the only real, true, living Word of God out there right now. It's the living, breathing Word of God. It's food, water, nourishment, substance for your soul and spirit. Like you eat food every day, feed your soul and spirit every day with the Holy Bible. Pray to your new best friend, Jesus Christ, every day. He loves you. He wants to talk to you daily. Get water baptized. Pray to be sanctified with the Holy Spirit from head to toe as you grow closer to Christ than what few days we have left before the imminent rapture of Jesus Christ. Take your King James Version Bible, find a church to go to, and when you go, when the pastor starts to, to talk out of the Bible, don't read the screen above his head, open your Bible and read. If what he says don't match your Bible, close it, get up and walk out, find a new place to worship. If you have, you want to talk to me about anything, you have questions, comments, concerns, no matter what it is, if you're like God is love and you want to just be evil and just write something on my wall, please do, because I'd love to be able to talk to you. I'd love to be able to pray for you. If you have any prayer requests at all, if you have anything from a terminal illness all the way down to a sick pet, anything in between, and you want me to pray for you, I'll pray for you every day, believing in a miracle, that God will answer all my prayers if I pray in his holy will. Thanks for watching the video, my friends. Please share this with everybody that you know, neighbors, coworkers, loved ones, friends, Drop it in a blog somewhere online. Plant the seed and walk away so God can water it and it can grow. Share the link to the whole channel with people. Whether they're saved or not, I want them to be able to come here so I can pray for them. We have to get the word of God out to everybody so they can be saved. They can repent of being backslidden and they can just change their lives forever. All for the glory of God, never for mine or anybody else's. I'm just a slave, my friends. I'm the least in God's kingdom. I'm a tiny fish in a huge pond. I work for my master, Jesus Christ, night and day, and I will until he calls me home. I love you guys. Have a good day. Thanks.